That is so awkward. Yeah. Your brother's having gay sex and you just walk in. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's gotta be like one chill sister. She's gotta be one chill fucking sister. What's your name? It's so much awkward to that dude. Mm-hmm. Which means you're trapped here with Cersei Lannister as your mother by law. Perhaps. 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 I say you said her out to me. That's so random. <laughs> the monarch who can intimidate the high lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Good luck finding him. Seriously. Who said anything about him? Oh, Daenerys. So very much Daenerys. You can stay here at Illyrio's palace Everything and drink you yourself travel, to death. Right? Or you can ride with me to Milan, yeah. meet Daenerys Targaryen, yeah, and decide I mean, I mean, if the world is worth no, fighting for. Like said him. I mean, um, who, who, said, who said about him? To fight to the death she for the amusement so of the masters and you're defending the like, fighting pits. Like yeah. I'm only here eyes, because of those pits. How come Dario sounds like his American accent? Like, like you're the queen. A British accent. Everyone's too afraid like of you to speak that. truth. Everyone but me. Like You've made thousands of enemies all across the world. As soon as they see me, they will like, attack. Like American. No one's seen Dragon in weeks. Mm. Oh. For all I know, he's found halfway across the world. <laughs> fucking Drogon, man. Fucking rebellion teenager. Like, fuck, is it like a Malcolm? You can't control the name. I'm flying over and travel to like. A dragon he's queen. Gone. He no dragon. <laughs> he just took out a lifeline for me. He's just, just like, fuck you, 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 Sure. It seems she ran the fuck out, like, of course the dragons are not going to be, like, accommodating. No, they're really like, scared. They locked them up. She, she's, I don't know, she's learning, man. She's learning, like, a lot of shit. I have the winds and not if they're north of the wall. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Pride? Fuck my pride. <laughs> oh. This isn't about that. Then what is it? It's then bend the knee and save your people. Yeah. They followed me because they respected me. Think Perfect. you're making a terrible mistake. The freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. Shit. Wow. This is a pretty solid one. I think John sounds like a better step back. Yeah. Wait. That's right, you've been and called like, the king beyond point. the wall. Westeros only has one king. Bend the knee, I promise you mercy. Beheading's like, you know, a quick Good way, man. I'm not gonna be honest with you. Ah, I'm gonna start screaming and shit.
my god! He actually did him a favor! Wow, wow, wow! No, he actually did him a fucking wow. favor! Oh my god, no, Shit, no. no, that was actually really good! Oh my god! Like, no, he couldn't stop! I think he didn't want to hit the screen in front of his man. No, that, that was a really good thing John did, man. Oh. Like, like, you. That he respected him in a sense. That was, that was so honorable. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck Stannis though for doing that. The Jon Snow. Like he, he respected he respected him enough to like give him a, a better death I would do, he, per se. You know like. like well, he yeah just, the way he arrowed him in the chest man. That like, was just like. I was I, like what the fuck. I feel, I, I feel like Mance and Jon they have mutual respect for each other. You could see in their conversation, like when they he, when he went to when he went to him, and like even before that, like even the man's Raider, he he respects John Snow. He's like, you're a good lad and stuff. So it was it was nice to see John, like you know, like he didn't want Mance, this prideful man, and you know he he's the one who united all the wildlings and stuff. To ninety like, clans, ninety clans. How much work he had to do to unite? His, his, his whole his whole life was dedicated to this, you know. And um and yeah, you know he didn't want him screaming and yelling and you know just dying the worst type of death. And, that, the way, that, and his face, the way he was like even before anticipating he, the fire. Oh my god! Like you knew, like I, like I was getting ready for screams, man. Like, but Jon Snow, like he, he had enough respect for him to like you know just shoot an arrow, get it over with. Like he, he doesn't need he, his people don't need to see him go out. Go, go, go through. The he respect. Right he, you know, he lived his life for a, you know a good purpose. I would say like he, he, he really truly cared about his people and didn't want them to bleed. And you know he just he wanted to do the best for his people and like good job, John. Man. Like, I'm, I'm I'm actually like yeah no no John. I'm really Snow, touched what he just did. Man. Yeah, but like I wonder how Stannis is gonna feel about that though, or or that fire bitch, that fire that yeah. red, red witch like how she she because she she likes killing people through fire so like fuck her I don't I don't like her at this point like honestly like at first I was like I don't think there was a point when anyone liked her I like, I didn't I didn't really hate her hate her like you know like hating Joffrey or Ramsay. But like her, um, in particular, now I'm like I'm getting very annoyed by this fire shit, like burning. It is coming stuff. annoying now. It, it's it, you know it's getting annoying now. Like like it's just getting on my nerves. You know like who are you? you know, and she's sense. still there, and, and yeah. she's just like she's, she's all over the place. Like, the way she yeah. influenced Stannis, even he's becoming this person who just you know he, I feel like we well, can't blame you can't blame because you like, saw he, whatever it is on the fu- in the fire. You, you know? saw the like, fire, and then I know like the whole leeches and like the demon baby. But I'm just like Stannis like. Like I respect the Stannis in the war when he fought, you know, and like he has a he like you know like he's very dedicated to his goal. And he, but again, like he's being too overly influenced by this red, uh, this red check. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it was nice to see that. Um, yeah, obviously, um, Man's Raider. He just he just you know like I I I felt like he was too he he said he claims he was not prideful. It wasn't his pride. Like what do you think? Do you think it was his pride, or like he doesn't? He doesn't like he's like my people. He doesn't want his people to bleed. I feel like it, it would be. It's, it is mostly pride. Yeah. When you really think, because his whole life was to get everyone together, and now that he, but it, if he kneels, he would have like, like okay, okay. Like he doesn't want his army. He doesn't want the wildlings to be become soldiers for Stannis, because Stannis wants to use them to take uh, over Winterfell. And he's like, why would I get my people involved in a foreign war? So, so he's just like, my people will bleed regardless, and I will go out with dignity because I don't want my people joining this foreign war. But if if he dies, aren't they gonna join Stannis' thing? Anyway? Exactly. Like, what's gonna happen now? So now, his death had no point. Like, like n- now that he died, like, will Stannis just slaughter the wildlings? Because, or like, or either choose to join or be slaughtered. No, like he is a focal point of all the wildlings because like they all all these ninety clans. Joined up because of him. Now is he dead? Like, are they? And they, they, don't, they don't have a common leader at this point. So are they gonna go their separate ways? But like, I don't, I don't see Stannis like. Okay, yeah, you don't want to join? Cool, peace out. Like, but then again, like they don't really want to go live in that uh, beyond the wall anymore. Because the whole point they want to go, like, like what, what if, what if they just join anyways? Like, they're like, they're like, yeah, like you know, they saw what happened to Mance. So he, you know, they, he was potentially, he was being burnt. Mm-hmm. Sure, John killed him, but like. Like would you would he just join a force or be that is alive? That is kind of so like will, will Stannis you know? slaughter all the remaining wildling soldiers? Like I could see him do that, but it's just I like I don't I don't know who like you know like the main, I don't know, the main leader is gone like you know so I, I really don't get this like I feel like they would join 
Just like, be, just because like yo the lead, the leader is dead. The they have no they have no guidance. They have point. no guidance. Are they gonna just leave? So like is it? What's it, gonna it's, happen? Either, no, it's either they join or the wildlings are just all ninety or, or most of them are just gonna. This is gonna be like a scatter. Scatter and all his work, all of the men's work is just it's gone that moment, you know. Yeah, that's true. So, um, back <sighs> in the east side, we have like. Now it's funny. Now on the east side, we have like two different storylines. Now we have like uh, first Daenerys, and now we have Tyrion, Tyrion over there. Too. So like I, I I like the moment Tyrion was there, I was like, okay, there's a high possibility he's gonna meet up with Daenerys somehow. Like they're in the same they're in the same continent. You know. Yo, I just got something. What? You know how uh, I I don't know who Varys was talking to. I'm mm-hmm. thinking, ooh, damn it. Anyways, he was talking to someone. He was like, I have a different goal, and then he looks at the throne. Remember when they're in the throne room? Is that have a different goal? And he looks. At the, oh, when he's like, talking about desires and stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then he's, he's he's he looks at the throne like that's that's my goal, right? And then now he's in uh, Pentos, but the whole time he was referring to Daenery, uh, Daenerys. Daenerys, I think. So he knew that he's gonna do this. You know, obviously it wasn't. Oh, so you're saying because because Varys claims to do it for the realm, and obviously like like he's not he's like when he said I'm doing it for the throne, he looks like like I thought it was for him. Like, you know, and I, I, I didn't believe it was for him because, like, obviously, he, like, come on, he, he, I don't think he has no rights. He literally started from the bottom. Like, you know, he made it really far to make it a small council, but, like, I don't think he made it, like, like he has no claim to the throne. I mean, you know, I don't know. I, 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 I see what you're saying. I see it was, like, it, it, it was portrayed that way. Exactly. So but, like, but the whole time, I think he, he believed so that he's, Daenerys. So he's rooting for Daenerys. But like, but, like, did he have a change of heart? Because didn't he send his men to kill Daenerys when Robert ordered it? Well, he had none. You know? Or, the he poison no and that Stark yeah. was going against the whole thing. So, like... Ah. But, 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 but maybe maybe he, maybe he at that point, he, he didn't anticipate Robert's death. And he was like... And, and he didn't anticipate uh, the, the Khaleesi having dragons or being powerful and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he was cool. I think Varys was cool with uh, Robert being the king. So, maybe he, he, he went along with it. But now that Robert died in season one... We saw the Lannisters. Like this, Joffrey's just a piece of shit, so he's dead too. And then you know, Tommen. Tommen. Okay, he's, he's not cruel, but like, he's very inexperienced. Like, you can't like the whole realm's uh, uh, responsibility on him. It's not gonna work out. He like Varys sees that shit. So now Varys is uh, he's he just jump in the bandwagon. He's just like, you know, Daenerys. She she has a name Targaryens. That's a fucking really good last name to yeah. have. She, she has a really good amount of soldiers right now. They know about that, right? They know they have. They have, they have Unsullied. Yeah, no, they know. They know. They, 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 they're yeah, talking they Thailand and okay. stuff. Uh, I remember. But did they and the and the dragons and the three dragons? So yeah. like, yo, I would jump the band, bandwagon as well. And like, yo, like if there's anybody and, and she's and she and she's displayed that she's for the people. She's freeing slaves and stuff. So she fits all the criteria. That varies with the That, that yeah. That's why, and then it, 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 that it made sense for like uh, him to root for her, and he wants uh, Tyrion to uh, help in that cause. So that's uh, that's uh, the route. Uh, oh, Tyrion would be the the best the best supporter out there. Like I, I wonder how that's gonna play out. That's, yeah, that's, it's so cool. Like, I could see Daenerys and uh, and Tyrion like at one point like meeting up. Like I could see that happening. Um, I talk about Daenerys. Um. She is having issues. I think. I think her struggles are being. Uh, they're they're continued in this season. Like, <laughs> it's a constant struggle for her. She's like poor she, girl. She's um. She's clearly struggling. Like she she locked her dragons up. But what, what do you expect when you lock your dragons up, man? You think they'd be happy? No, obviously they're not. But like, I, I think uh, Dario was telling her, uh, "You're you're not the mother of the Unsullied, you're the mother of dragons." And so I like, got to her. So yeah. like, she's like, "I can't just release them. They're gonna, you know." And uh, Drogon, it's like he's flying for weeks and he hasn't returned like he is in a rebellious state right now like oh, fuck you like Drogon fucking like Drogon going through his teenage fucking years like come on fuck off mom <laughs> like, fuck you mom I'm going I'm, I'm leaving her. So come back Drogon and she's stressed out like even her, her facial expressions she's really stressed out like the whole thing so she's struggling um what else happened uh, we saw, okay, the episode started with a flashback, and it was Cersei as a child. And she was one really fucked up, like, she she was not a pleasant child. I, I, I thought she was Cersei, but I'm like, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, it could be any girl. It could be any girl, like, I, I think, I think when they start talking about, like, you're the queen and stuff, I'm like, I started, like, I'm like, okay, maybe this is Cersei, and maybe a little and flashback. Like, I have, I have, like, the three other, three, you got three kids, I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah,
that which was the predicting stuff like she was laughing she was like she was very funny then she said you're gonna be a queen for a time for a time and then some younger beautiful queen's gonna take over oh, I'm, I'm predict i think it's i'm not gonna say it's obvious but i'm pretty sure it's much marjorie it, i think i think it is hinted towards marjorie so um cersei so we saw her a little flashback as a kid and she she wasn't a pleasant person at all very entitled very like my dad this my dad is this yeah. do this or your eyes will be something and then we had a jamie uh jamie um cersei scene where the tywin's uh, body so tywin's dead and she's like she's shitting, shitting on him. shitting on making jamie feel worse than he already does that's what cersei is all about fucking hypocrite oh, God. um oh yeah then we, we we're getting these new people this new uh i guess uh, they're the uh antagonist of this uh, sons of the harpy sons of the harpy the white rat was the like first we saw this unsullied soldier go to a brothel and he looked like Grey Worm, so at one point I'm like, did they change actors? <laughs> they changed actors for sure. They did. And and, and, and he went to and, and he and he went to the to the to the to that to that whore who uh, looked who looked like that, that translator. translator. So I'm just like, this is I th- I thought it was Grey Worm and a different actor, but I, it wasn't. You know, it was it was somebody else, and uh, uh, I I thought the same thing, man. I, thought, like, I think they go there for emotional kind of uh, comforting and stuff, but. Everyone she, needs a cuddle buddy she's, in now and then. <laughs> and she uh, fucking uh, slit his throat, man. That was, oh my god. Yo, you reacted pretty badly to that. You're like, what the fuck? Because I was like, I was, she was singing, she was humming some of the peaceful songs. I thought it was her that cut her, that cut his throat. I think it was her who cut his throat. No, it was a dude. Was it? It was a guy with the mask. It was, was it? I thought uh, it was her. No, I'm pretty sure it was. Why would he be there? Really? But like, she, she stood up and, I know, I think it was her, man. Like, Really? Right, maybe after you say that, my first impression was like it was her, but I, I thought yeah, the first impression like oh shit, she she slit his throat, and then all you all of a sudden you see this guy with the gold mask. I think I think he there he, he is the sons of the harpy kind of uh, dude. So oh yeah, and then finally um, <laughs> I like how Marjorie walked in uh, on her brother, and he and it was it was so casual like she knows what's going on. She's like acting like this chill sister, <laughs> watching her brother have gay sex, and then she's just like. <laughs> You, you want to be more discreet? And he's just like, why Why would I care? He's like, the fuck it, everybody knows about us, you know? Oh, so, uh, it's funny, like, I, Marjorie and Loris are pretty close. Like, Yeah, really close. They're, 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 a little too close, but, you know. <laughs> not as close not as Cersei and Jamie. <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that was coming. Uh, and then, and then um, I think, uh, anything else? You saw Marjorie, you know, holding hands with Tom and while she was walking. Like, yeah, she's trying to still, and Cersei wasn't having none of that. And all that, that, the wine guy for, um, uh, the Lancel, uh, La- Lancel Lannister. I the cousin, the cousin. We saw that he was a wimp. Uh, Tyrion was, remember Tyrion was like, uh, a spy for Cersei, and he's like, he's like, mercy, mercy. Remember that, and then, and then, and I think I think she was. There was what happened to him well, from that time? Did he? Go- I don't I don't get like he he seemed he's wearing a robe. But he he, he seems very like he's different. He got a haircut. He's you know he's more he has a more built uh, body. His hair is cut. He looks his like hair is cut. He, he just he, like, I'm not gonna he, lie. The he, first time I saw him, I thought he was a girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he had long hair and so yeah. he, he very funny. He was sleeping with Cersei as well. I think they mentioned it, and he looked very. He looked like a monk in a sense, you know. Like a, he, he was dressed yeah, as a monk. Yeah. His father wasn't proud of it. So, um, yeah, that, that guy was weird. I, I never. Like, <laughs> so, like, he, he was talking about like how the wine for Robert Baratheon, how Cersei made him. Yeah, you know, I think Cersei was the one who killed the who wanted to kill Robert through that hunting trip, which worked. Mm-hmm. And then, and they, they had this their relations as well. So, yeah, that guy was weird. So, what else happened? Did I think that's it for so. Season five, yeah. episode one. They're 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 just they're just uh, starting where they left off from season four. So <laughs> right away, yeah. So let's see, let's see. Let, I, I still don't see. Like I know from the east side, uh, there's a there's like the sons of harpies, and then there's uh, Tyrion. But I want to see like what what materializes in the King's Landing. What the sun? They just came out of nowhere. They, they came the out of nowhere. It's just the sons of harpies. There was like, no indication from last season that like yeah they existed, and now like uh, this organization just came out of nowhere. So let, let's see how Daenerys uh, handles that. Alright guys, it's that time again. Who's going to be your MVP of this episode and who's going to be the flop of this episode? Okay, so this episode... <laughs> not, there wasn't like a clear winner. Yeah, so we got a, we or like, real a like... Or like, not a, like a clear impact. Like, um... 
like honestly, who was there? We have John who put um, the arrow, like the arrow to man to end his misery and not to embarrass, not to embarrass, but like it was more people. embarrassed and like he gave Mance a good way out. So yeah, yeah, John Snow could, he could be he could, he's he's one candidate. Um, anybody else? Um, I'm trying I'm trying to figure this out. Let's see. Um, not again, not a lot of people that had uh, maybe the Sons of Harpy. Like I, they, they, they again they, 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 they didn't do it. They just they, killed a. They killed a yeah. But like, but they're 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 a threat. Okay, I'm going to John. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those episodes where like you, you know like it's it's hard it's hard it's hard, hard but like uh, you just you got to give it somebody who just had some sort of impact. So yeah, and better momentum. Because I, I, I know I, I guess I would give it John because he had the right idea. He was talking to Mance. Um, Mance didn't listen, but John had the right idea. He was thinking logically, and then you know. Um, you know, you wise, uh, you know the wildlings. Maybe, see. maybe the fact that John killed the uh, the wildling leader, maybe the wildlings will respect him a little more. You know, exactly. Because and they, I think the wildlings again, you know, they, they like mm. them, they like them, but like they're kind of, some of them were the, like they're they betrayed, but like they still see John's a good person. So maybe he has that impact. But then it could be we could say the opposite, like how Stannis is going to be, a, you know, more stronger. Yeah, force. Exactly. But but fuck it, man. But you know, for this episode, yeah. Episode, I'm going to give it to Jon Snow. John, yeah. he, you know, he did it. So Jon Snow is going to be our MVP for today. <laughs> you made us believe. Put clothes on our backs. You sacrificed for us. <laughs> you the real MVP. All right, who's going to be our flop for today? Everybody do the flop! Interesting. We got the... Uh, yeah, Mance could be... Mance, in terms of just not choosing the logical route, mm -hmm. choosing the more... Um, Prideful route. We also have Danny. We got Danny as well. Daenerys Khaleesi. Cause she's like she's not doing well. She, she's like struggling. Even, yeah, she's struggling. And when she went into that cave to see her dragons, obviously they were wilding out. She's very confused. She's very. She confused. doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to do. She, she is like you know, she, it, it's it's showing that she's a, like a rookie. You know, and you know? she's a rookie right now. And like uh, like the only reason why she went to the cave was because uh, Dario Dario like, like told me he reminded her yo yo you're the mother of the dragons not the yeah. mother of the like, like she's locking dragons up and then going back to free them but then the dragons always pissed off one dragon's God knows where he's chilling in fucking Hawaii and then Japan. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, you know like she authority issues she's still struggling but if you want like a clear impact uh, like clear flop I guess in terms of uh, this episode wise I think it was Mance, Mance, Mance yeah. he, he was too prideful he, he denied being prideful but I feel he like he could have said yes he could have said yes he could have survived and, and you know well, you know, if you're prolonging your life, maybe maybe other other opportunities arise for you exactly. to get what you want. You, you know? know, so but he was he was too quick to decide, and he he, he didn't kneel. So and, and you know he died. Sure, John saved him. He, he gave him a better death, but I, ultimately he died. And he made the, I I felt like he made the wrong choice. So. Made, I, yeah, me too. I feel like Man's Raider will be our flaw for today's episode. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys tune in for the next episode. And guys, not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Alistair, Visor.